Shangliao is essentially Calturo 2.0. Both are electro DPS with remarkably similar skills. How similar? I can explain Shangliao's entire kit using Calcaro's terms. Calcaro alternates between basic attacks and E to fill the fort circuit. When fort is maxed, he can unleash a nuke called Mercy. Shangli Yao also alternates between basic attacks and E to fill the fort circuit. When fort is maxed, he can cast a nuke called Decipher. Shangli Yao is more flexible since his fort can also be charged with basic attacks. After casting his ultimate, Calcaro deals burst damage and enters the Deathblade gear state, where he switches to a new forte circuit called Killing Intent with up to five energy slots. Similarly, after casting his ultimate, Shangli Yao deals burst damage and enters the Intuition state, where he uses a new forte circuit called Performance Capacity, also with five energy slots. In the Deathblade gear state, Calcaro's basic attacks are enhanced and can gain fort energy when Fort is full, he can release a nuke called Death Messenger. When uninterrupted, he can land three Death Messengers within the 11-second window of his ultimate. In the intuition state, Shang Liao's basic attacks and E are enhanced, both recovering Fort energy. When Fort is full, he can cast a nuke called Law of Rains. He can input three Law of Rains at most, as casting the third one will immediately end his ultimate state. A full combo takes somewhere between 11 to 16 seconds, depending on your sequence. If you delay the third law of reigns, the intuition state can last up to 25 seconds. However, he can do nothing but basic attacks during the last couple of seconds, which isn't worth it. Overall, Shang Liao's playstyle is simpler. He doesn't have to worry as much about missing skill shots, and during his ultimate, he guarantees three law of reigns, unlike Kalkaro who might only land two death messengers in high pressure moments. Finally, a few tips and tricks. A typical ultimate sequence looks like this. Lasting exactly 11 seconds. There's a variation though. After the first law of reigns, follow with three basic attacks. E might still be on cooldown, until the icon is replaced by the second law of reigns. So dash reset after two basic attacks, then attack again, and you'll be able to use E before the skill is replaced. This trick allows for three casts of E. Extending the combo to 16 seconds, and of course, dealing a fair amount of extra damage. Xiang Liao's fifth basic attack has a long animation that can be canceled by casting E. You can directly copy Kalkaro's strategies in team building and echoes, so I won't go into detail. That's it for this video. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe. Hopefully more content will follow. See you next time.